Hello everybody, we're back here on the Hunter Call of the Wild. This is going to be a little bit of a different intro compared to what we normally do. In fact, this was uh, not intended to be the original intro as this video was supposed to be just killing off all the stacked diamonds that we had on our map from the Whitetail Grind. I had been stacking the diamonds in my favorite zones to uh, try and shoot down a couple of zones that I didn't want to hunt anymore because we did recently find a couple new zones. So I wanted to get rid of some of the ones I didn't like, that way we could implement some better ones into the grind. And so I did a video shooting all of the diamonds. And I'm not going to tell you guys how it goes, obviously, because I want you guys to be able to experience through the video. But we got a lot of cool trophies. And I was like, okay, when we get to 1,900 kills, we're going to go ahead and just call it there. We're going to end the video at 1,900 kills. And so I got to 1,900 kills. I did my outro and everything and then ended the video recording. Started up a new recording and continued grinding like I normally would. And lo and behold, 23 kills later, the great one shows up. So, of course, I've got to implement that into the video because it happened so close to it. So, I'm going to have to cut out the original ending that I had for this. So, this will probably have a weird transition from the point where we hit our 1900th kill uh, to the point where we got the great one. Just wanted to give you guys a little bit of context since I've never tried to splice in a uh, clip like this and get rid of the original ending to the video, but I figured that it was something that we had to do because of how quickly we got it after I ended the recording. But anyway, without further ado, let's get into the actual video. Hello everybody, we are back here on the Hunter Call of the Wild, and we're once again on the Whitetail Grind. Though today's video is going to be a little bit more exciting than some of the other recent Whitetail videos that we have done. We're going to be killing off all of these stacked level 3s and Diamond Potential level 2s. Because the last couple days, I decided to start stacking again because I found a couple new zones. I found a zone up here, and a zone right there. And uh, it turns out that one of these is from when I undid herd management a few months ago uh, during the time period where we stopped doing it. I had deleted a lot of zones when I was shooting off all of the ones, so some of them ended up going to places I didn't realize, and this was one of them. This is one of our old herds with uh, one of our pet albino deer that we had just kept on the map uh, named Ghost. So we've found out where that herd went and then I also found this herd so I decided to start stacking again and try to shoot down some of the other zones on the map and well it is now time to go ahead and blast all of these diamond potentials so without further ado let's get to blasting starting with this one right here and it looks like that thing is probably gonna float and then we also have this one in the zone next to it this is a much nicer level three in fact, it does have a decent chance of making it. So this is definitely the nicer of the two. Let's claim that one first. It is a 262.10. That is definitely not bad. That is a pretty solid buck to start things off with. And our first diamond of the day. I believe we have seven or eight of these things to go through. Hopefully the majority of them will make diamond. There's three that for sure will as they are the big rack, but the others are questionable. Well, a uh, most unfortunate thing has occurred. I don't see the level two that was diamond potential. I reset the time to try and get it go to go back to shore because if it's floating and you reset the time, it pushes them to the nearest shoreline. But on very rare occasions, this happens where it just completely disappears. And well, that is that is what has happened. So that's unfortunate. On to the next one, I guess. Here we have another relatively small level three, but it is still a three nonetheless. So let's get it down. That will be a good hit, but one more just for good measure. Let's see what this guy ends up scoring. It is a diamond at 258. Honestly, we're doing good so far. Both the ones we got to claim have been a diamond. Uh, the one we didn't get to claim, uh, who knows what that would have been, but I think it looked like it probably would have been diamond as well. So we're off to a really good start. And here is one of the pretty much guaranteed diamonds that we have on the map. This is at one of those new zones that I ended up finding. I actually really like this zone because, I mean, we're shooting it from up here, which is really cool. Definitely one of the more cool zones to hunt. And let's see if it will produce a giant diamond. It's definitely looking like that guy has a very high chance of being an absolute monster. There he is. What a giant buck. This has a chance of being 270s and it is 272.92 max weight. 
That is absolutely beautiful. That is our first giant of the day. We had a, a couple diamonds already, but this one's definitely the nicest of them. Now let's hope that this trend continues because we have a couple more at least that are pretty much the same size as this guy. All right, so this is going to be one of the tougher ones to do. We have two giants here. This guy is the big guaranteed diamond and this one not guaranteed, but still has a decent chance of making it. We got to try and make both of these shots without messing them up. We somehow did it. Oh my gosh. I'm actually kind of surprised we managed that. So here's the big one. Uh, that is really close tip to tip spread. It's probably going to be low scoring because of that. But to be honest, these are really cool to get. Yeah, 263. Really tight tip to tip spread. But another max weight. And I guess at this point, since we've been getting all of these giant whitetail... I should probably tell those of you that don't know what we're doing uh, how to get a lot of giants like this and that is with the herd management grinding method. I've got multiple guys on the channel. Highly recommend checking out the herd management playlist if you haven't already. It'll teach you how to get lots of giants on your grinds. And here is the other one in the zone. This looks like it's a diamond as well and it is. So right now we have yet to get a single troll. Every one of these has been a diamond. So. That is huge. That is a lot more than I was expecting. And across the way from the zone that we just hunted, we have this guy right here. Looking at the tip to tip, I don't think this guy is going to make it. But it's still in approximately the same score range as a diamond, so I decided to leave him anyway. Let's see if I was right. Ah, uh, yeah, I don't think that guy is going to make it. He definitely did not make it, but definitely close. And now we approach another zone where we do have two level threes, including this monster right here. This is the last of the big rack ones that we have on the map currently. And uh, it looks like he has an upper estimate of 272. So it's not going to be our biggest, I don't think. I believe the first big rack we shot will be the biggest one of the session. But it's still a monster deer. You can't deny. Now, this is going to be one of the toughest shots we've had to take. I think we can pull it off, though. Yes, we did. We managed to pull off that weird quartering angle and get a follow-up shot into that other buck as well. Beautiful. So if this guy makes it, it will be our sixth diamond. And he did at 270, another max weight as well. It's one of the beauties of herd management is you get a lot of max weight animals. So if you do manage to get a super rare, there's a decent chance that it's going to be a big one. And uh, unfortunately, we haven't got that lucky, but maybe in the future if we keep this up. But that brings us to six diamonds. And hopefully this one will be the seventh. And it is. That's about as high of a score as you can possibly get on the small rack diamonds. That is wild. So that is seven diamonds. That's a lot of diamonds. I'm honestly surprised that only one of these has not made it. That's kind of crazy. And you know what? Since we took down all of those diamonds, let's go ahead and take down this pie ball that I got to spawn last night as well. I was going to save it for the live stream so that I could take it down live, but I figure we might as well take it down now. And also for a little context on kill count, we're currently at 1,820 kills into this great one grind. Uh, one of the longest great one grinds I've had for Whitetail. So hopefully we can get the great one to show up soon. That's kind of why we're doing this video right here. We're going to see if killing all those diamonds in a row affects it at all. I doubt it will, but you know, it's worth a shot. But the reason I'm telling you guys the kill count right now is so that uh, it'll give you a little context for like whenever this video releases. I don't know if it's going to release the day after I record or if it's going to be three days after. I usually record three videos in the same day and then upload them over the course of the next three or four days. So... We'll see how many kills it takes to get this great one, but as of recording this, we're at 1,820. And that's going to be two deer down. Okay, we got to be fast and claim this guy before he floats away. Otherwise, we'll be forced to reset the time, which I really don't want to have to do on a rare. And, oh my gosh, we had a chance there. We had a chance and I blew it. Are we going to be able to get it? Uh, no. Okay, we're going to keep trying. This is honestly one of the biggest problems in Call of the Wild right now. Uh, unrelating to, like, bugs at least. One of the biggest issues that I find is so many animals go straight to the water when you shoot them. 
instead of running in the opposite direction. But you would think that if you shoot an animal, they're not going to dive straight into the water, but not in Call of the Wild. In Call of the Wild, they just love to go for a swim after they get filled full of bullet holes. So uh, it seems a little bit uh, counterproductive, but you know what? I, I guess that's just what the deer like. All right, let's grab this deer. 228. That is quite the piebald, honestly. That That is a monster right there. We're going to go ahead and tax him because that is a beautiful buck. Definitely one of the nicer piebalds we've got as of recent, though. We did have that almost super rare that we got a few days ago, so that was pretty crazy. But besides that, this has been the biggest one of this grind. So what we are going to do is we're going to go through our map a couple times and see what the respawns were from those diamonds. Unfortunately, uh, it's not looking great so far. This zone did not get anything big back, but you know, it is what it is. Hopefully we'll have a giant at one of these other lakes. Oh my gosh, that is a huge melanistic. <laughs> so that would be the respawn from that first level three that we claimed. That is huge. That is such an insane kill. We, we got to take this thing down as soon as possible. That is just incredible. You know, it has been a very long time since we had a melanistic on this grind. So this is a really cool thing to see. Uh, I do got to check to see if there's anything close first. Guys, uh, these will spook if I shoot the mela. But it looks like it's just that mela buck that is here. That is incredible, though. This is probably around like 210 to 220. Definitely not a bad buck at all. That's a really good buck, in fact. Now let's go ahead and pick this thing up. I'm really curious what it will score. I'm going to say 207. 210. So I was close. Was definitely close. Actually, my first guess was probably closer than uh, my second guess. But that's still a really insane rare. And the first Mela in over 3,000 kills, if I'm not mistaken. We're 1,837 into this grind. And this is the first Mela from this grind. And the previous one, I don't believe even had one. So that is really cool to get another melanistic. What an absolute beauty. Well, we did get one level three respawn in this zone right here. And that one actually is guaranteed diamond 258 on the minimum. So overall, I'd say the respawns from that run were pretty good. We actually had a decent bit of really good respawns. And of course, I got a bad shot on that diamond. Well, that's fun. You know, I was thinking that we were going to have more stuff to include in here, but that Mela is literally the only good thing that we have been able to get in the first two runs after killing all those diamonds. I mean, we had that level three that we messed up, but I couldn't find where it ended up dying. So, yeah, we haven't really had anything to show for all those diamonds we killed. We're going to go a little bit longer, though. I think what I'm going to do is try to push us past 1900 kills. I'm currently at 1860. I feel like if we don't have a great one show up by 1900, then it probably was never going to spawn off of those diamonds in the first place. But, you know, right as I say we haven't seen anything, of course, that's when a level 3 shows up right there uh, next to a pretty decent level 2. So, hopefully, if we are lucky, we can get a uh, good shot into both of these. And this will definitely help. It is going more broadside, and that is going to be great right there. And that is two dead deer. Quick, get it before it floats. Oh my gosh, do not float away. 214 on that buck right there. But this one right here is the diamond potential level three. I don't think it's going to make it, though. Yeah, it didn't make it. Go figure. Whoa, there we go. That's a giant level three. Like that is that is a monster level three right there next to a pretty decent two as well. Uh, we're currently at 1,872 kills. So about 28 kills away from uh, being at that 1900 mark that we plan to end at for this video. So let's just get that guy down as well as this one. And that is pretty sweet. Here is our absolute giant level three. Let's see what it scores, 270.86. So that's definitely a good one, but uh, not quite to the tax worthy size. Right now we're taxing 275 and above, unless it's super wonky or if it's an extremely high scoring one for its antler type. So this guy unfortunately is not quite at that threshold. There is another diamond potential. We're starting to see them popping up a little bit more, which is nice. 
I guess it was just that first run after we killed them all off where things were uh, not exactly showing up as often as I was hoping they would be. Uh, now, two runs later, we're getting a bunch of level threes to show up again. And I've actually got a feeling that this one will make diamond. It looked really wide and oh, it did not. Well, that is unfortunate. That is very unfortunate. I guess it wasn't even a level three. It was just a big two. For some reason, I thought it was a three. Well, another giant level three, and we're currently at 1,890 kills, so we're definitely on another streak of big threes popping up, which is really good to see. Let's see if we can sink a shot into this one. Definitely a risky shot to make, but we did end up making it. Let's see what this monster right here ends up scoring. 270.86, another max weight. That is beautiful. You'll love to see it. And honestly, with the amount of max weights that have been showing up, I'd say we officially have our herd management back to the state that it was in like six or seven months ago, or I I guess it was that long ago. However long it was when we were at our prime with herd management, it seems we've got it back to that point. Well, these two bucks that I'm about to claim are 1,898 and 1,899, which means when we go to this zone over here, that will be our 1900th kill since our last great one. Let's hope for the best. Let's just hope there's a great one here. I really don't want this to be a 2000 kill grind, but it's kind of looking like it's going to be our first 2000 kill grind in over 19 grinds, if I'm not mistaken. The last time we had a grind this long was, I believe, my fourth grind ever. So I guess this would be... One of the longest grinds we've ever done, which is pretty crazy. And it's looking like number 1900 will not be a great one. Well... Oh, there we go! <laughs> oh my gosh! I was so worried this was gonna be a 2000 kill grind. And we get him at 1000. 923 let's go that is what we love to see okay so i was actually just recording a video where we killed all of our stacked diamonds and then killed about another 70 deer to uh, try and get the great one to spawn and well i ended the video literally 23 kills ago I went clear up to 1900 kills and then I was like, if we don't get it by then, we're just going to end the video. Well, I got it literally 23 kills after ending the video, so I think we're just going to tack this guy on to the end of that video. I'll figure something out, but let's get ready to take him down. That is a beautiful sight. I also just realized this is literally one of the coolest cluster racks we've ever spawned. This thing is incredibly tight. If he looks at us again, we can see it a little bit better. Wow, that is insane. This might be the lowest scoring cluster rack I will ever kill. That is so cool. A lot of you wanted me to use the inline muzzle loader, so that's what we're going to do. We're going to put away the 7 mil and grab the inline muzzle loader and take this guy down. Because uh, apparently the inline muzzle loader does not have accuracy issues like the uh, older muzzle loader does. So we're going to go ahead and take that out and get this guy on the ground. So it's currently 1129, which means we have about 30 minutes to stock up on this before he will start moving. I don't want to take a super far shot. I do not want to risk it at all. So we are going to try and get relatively close, uh, preferably within 100 meters. I still just can't believe that I had ended this video and 23 kills later he shows up like, what are the odds? You know, it's a good thing that I record all of my grinding sessions just so that if I do get one, I'll have the footage and the initial reaction. So I've tried to only do grinding in the middle of the day uh, to late afternoon. That way I can be sure that I'm always recording because uh, I used to grind late at night. And as you guys have seen in other videos, that makes it so I never can get the reaction because everybody's sleeping and I don't want to wake them up. So I've started to just grind during the like uh, middle to late afternoon and it has worked out uh, quite a bit better because I've been able to record everything without risking waking up my wife or daughter. I think this is a good angle right here, 100 meters away. 
I think we should be able to do this. This is going to be such a cool buck to take down. So without further ado, let's get him on the ground. And that is curtains for that buck. Oh my gosh. That is honestly such a cool deer. I did not ever think I'd get one this tight. That looks like it's probably my tightest cluster rack ever. That's got to be the tightest cluster rack I've ever killed. 386. Are you kidding me? Oh my gosh. No way. No way did I just get such a low scoring and rare great one. Oh my gosh. That is like the lowest scoring one I've ever seen. Oh my gosh. That is incredible. 386. No way. <laughs> the 86 is like absurd. For those of you that don't know, the normal score for one of these is around 405 uh, to 415. Somewhere in that range, anything below or above that is definitely abnormal. Well, I guess uh, 405 to 420 is probably around the normal range. Anything above or below that is really rare. I cannot believe we just got that. That is insane. This is probably one of the coolest great ones I've ever got. And who would have thought it would be a cluster rack? One of my least favorite racks for whitetail great ones happens to be one of the coolest, lowest scoring ones I've ever killed. That is insane. And that right there, folks, is going to bring a 1,923 kill grind to an end. I cannot believe that we ended with such an amazing looking deer. Thank you all so much for being here during the journey. Uh, we're going to go ahead and take a look at this guy in the lodge now. Well, there he is. This is the new home for our brand new Great One Whitetail Deer 386.7. And that is our 33rd Great One of all time with just over, I believe, 60,000 kills amongst all Great One species. Maybe 65,000 or 70,000 at this point, but it's a lot nonetheless. We've killed a lot of uh, different animals throughout our grinds. And this is more of what a normal cluster rack looks like. So you guys can already see that the one that we just got is quite a special buck. Definitely something that I'm really happy we got. Now, this is honestly why people like myself continue to grind for great ones even after we've killed like 20, 20 uh, to whitetail like I have. It's to get stuff like this. These once in a lifetime bucks that are much lower or higher scoring than the rest that are like them or just super wonky ones that you don't see every day uh similar to a buck like this where his two antlers are quite different on each side even though they're technically the same rack it's stuff like this that we are really grinding for and it's why i continue to grind trying to get every possible combination i can as well as getting all of these wonky and weird ones but with that being said, thank you guys so much for watching this video. I really hope that you all enjoyed it. And uh, yeah, I will see you all in the next one. Peace.